at uh, the uh, targeting uh, um, uh, microglia, we can think about this both from uh, uh, targeting upstream activators uh, of uh, of microglia that might be disease specific, as well as also selective intracellular pathways. And uh, I'm emphasizing the work specific and selective uh, because uh, uh, I think it's important uh, to appreciate that these cells have many protective functions. So any kind of global inactivation of microglia cells is not going to be uh, uh, potentially clinically, th therapeutically uh, beneficial uh, because of, uh, of uh, um, also eliminating many of the protective functions of these cells in repair and many other uh, um, uh, uh, many other uh, functions as well. So, uh, so I think the selectivity here is important. So how can we achieve this selectivity? One way uh, is to target pathogenic ligands. And we have taken this approach in our research. We have found a specific well-defined target in the blood, the coagulation protein fibrin that activates microglia. And we have developed a first-in-class fibrin immunotherapy that selectively blocks the domain, the inflammatory domain of fibrin that activates the microglia cells. Um, and by this selective activation, this domain binds to a microglia receptor, the CD11B I domain on microglia. And by this selective inactivation, we can block the damaging inflammatory activities, but without affecting the beneficial effects of this protein uh, in hemostasis and without affecting other physiological functions of, of, uh, of microglia by blocking the ligand. Uh, this uh, uh, um, uh, immunotherapy uh, has uh, uh, advanced, has been, uh, the antibody has been humanized, uh, completed toxicology studies, and will be entering phase one uh, uh, safety trials in healthy volunteers uh, in uh, 2023. Uh, an alternative approach is to be able to identify uh, selective neurotoxic pathways in microglia. And my lab developed uh, uh, toxic for single cell RNA seq sequencing of uh, um, uh, oxidative stress secreting microglia cells. And this led to the discovery of new pathways in microglia cells specifically polarized towards oxidative stress secretion and neurodegeneration. And uh, some of this have been uh, really a priority now in our research to be able to see whether by selectively targeting these pathways, either with small molecules, some of them are amenable to small molecule targeting, whether this can uh, um, also overcome the effects that, uh, that microglia have uh, in, uh, um, uh, in neuronal hypersynchrony and, uh, and uh, hyperexcitability.